a orange one here. So we're at war with the Southern Empire down here. Uh, also the Kuzates up there, but these guys are what I really want to focus on. Um, because I have been watching a lot of that uh, Netflix show, The Ottomans. Or The Rise of the Ottoman Empire, whatever it's called. Um, and in that show, it's all about like the Arabic uh, Muslim yeah! um, sultans taking over what was Constantinople. You know, oh geez, uh oh, we got some weird graphical bugs going on there. Yeah, in any case, we're gonna be, you know, the Sari, aka the Arabic people, uh, taking back what is rightfully our land from the Empire, which is perfect because it's like they're the Byzantines. So, like, it, it couldn't be a better roleplay. Like, it honestly couldn't be a better roleplay what we're gonna deal with here. Well, maybe it could be. Maybe the Empire could have, you know, not been, um, Actually, no, they, they were crum they had been a crumbling empire for a while in the real world. Yeah, are you the lord? I think you're the lord. That must be the lord. Yeah, that's the lord. Okay, there's one of the scouts. And was that one of mine or was that one of theirs? I think that was one of theirs that I just killed there. Um, I think that was one of mine, though. Pretty sure. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes <laughs> in in this uh, whole rush of the of the melee. Uh, let's get in over here though. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple of them here. A little concentration. Oh, against that is really messing with me. It's like legit distracting. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> there's something about it when you get one of them to drop like that. Um, the, yeah, I think what we want to do is try and get some of our cities back, but we're going to want to work on villages first, so we got to find out, oh wow, there's a lot of them here, a lot more than I thought there would be. How are they killing so many of us? Is it because we tried to fight them on this hill or something, or, what's a, what's the deal with that? Oh, there's something weird going on with the AI. Yeah, like, not all the AI is... Is that my units? Didn't I tell them to, like, get in there? Well, our friend just took a lot heavier losses than they really should have. Whoops. My bad. I mean, I, I worked hard, but my units didn't there. And they're gonna get lots of experience from this, though. I mean, my cavalry will, at least. It's weird, because I could have sworn that people were charging in there. But, I mean, I could have totally also forgotten. I bet I forgot to charge, to tell them to follow their commanders, huh? Okay, well, in any case. Yeah, that's... That's an unfortunate amount of losses there. Especially seeing how, I mean, they had a significant amount of an army there. Uh, Regia, I kind of want to take you prisoner. Yeah, we're going to take you prisoner. You are their leader. Um, I'll take you guys prisoner, but not the others. I don't want to have too many prisoners, because then she's just going to escape right away. And I don't know how long this is going to take her out of the fight, but taking out the leader from the fight does seem like a good idea to me. Uh, let's have a look-see at the... What's the deal with this castle here? Uh, yeah, that's, that's too many. So I think what we want to do is... Well, what, what about this castle? Didn't I, in a previous episode, like nearly take that from the Kuzate or something? There was something about that. I, I thought I had taken this. Okay, well, the, in any case, they have units back there. Um, maybe let's go back to our cities. Oh, man. the So the Kuzay... Yeah, it looks like the Kuzay are, are doing well. Oh, what's this? Joran's army? Am I going to be able to fight you? I would like to fight you. 
And given that I might be able to get the militia with me, uh, what did that guy get upgraded? That was kind of weird. Wasn't there? Yeah, this guy. Like, what happened to him? I like clicked on it, and then like his thing disappeared. It looks like we need like more horses, like more war horses or something. We're gonna need to get those from the enemy. Kind of like what I'm thinking. Are you... Oh, you're not actually going anywhere. I thought that you were raiding. That's actually your village. Um, okay, well, we can't fight you. Not quite yet. I could see about gathering other lords there nearby. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get that lord over here and let's see if we can crush that army. We'll get some more uh, troops, though. Train troops, that's perfect. I was literally just looking for more troops. I love this quest, if you uh, can't tell. Aw, oh, it's a shame. So, um, <laughs> funny story. Uh, you guys know how, like, with, like, the coronavirus, like, everyone's, like, getting their hair cut um, now? One of my students, for the first time, wanted to show off their, like, haircuts. And it's, like, a thing. I, I you know, didn't think this would ever be a thing, but it's totally a thing. Um, to have, like, a, a corona haircut. And, um, like, other kids were like, Oh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go do that, too. Uh, oh, are you joining up with that other stack there? Uh, looks like it. Yeah, that is a pretty big stack there, buddy. Um, I don't know what to do about that. Oh, they're trying to besiege that city. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to see if I can sneak behind you and attack this guy. Aniri... Actually... I should have probably tried to see if I could get inside the city. Without, um... I don't know if they're going to be able to take that city. I mean... We did just take that city recently ourselves, but I'm pretty sure the lords should be able to rally. And take care of it you know it's actually interesting i think that i'm not doing as well in the wars now that i've got a bigger party i've been not able to catch these guys nearly as as well but i think if we disrupt this like 89 stack and kind of get them away and chase them down actually i think i might even be able to catch them we might be just ever so slightly fast enough uh yeah, you're you're too fast. We want to try and go for this guy right here. Oh, you I I literally just captured you and you just got away. Yeah, no, you're not going to Damascus if I have anything to say about that. And then your friend here, actually, I think I might just try and get your friend. What about these these cities here? I would really like to be able to take um like Razia or a Sahel Castle or something from them. That would, that would bring me a lot of joy. But for now, we'll chase after this dude. I think that we are catching him. I'm just going to speed it up just a little bit. Because I think that we will get him. It's just a matter of waiting a super long time. Okay, hold on. We got him. We, we can corner him. Kind of cut him off a little bit. There we go. I mean, I could maybe try and convince you to join us. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I kind of don't want to. I want to just kind of crush you. Take out an army. Follow your sergeants. Go! We actually have an army, a guy with us that's like on 80 stack of people. Whoa, did you just, did you just see that? Did those guys just shoot like, okay, I'm going to do that too. Can't let you guys show me up. What if that, like, hit? I used to totally do that a lot in like, a warband. You know, when you're like, ah, we can take him. Just, like, start throwing arrows away. You know? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you guys are about to have a very painful experience. You know, it's very strange for me because, like, I really enjoy playing this game, but it's, like, a total, like, 
almost cartoonization of of war and like i've been trying to watch like the last kingdom recently and just like it's just intense man just seeing the people like actually taking the villages and like the humiliations that the danes w were doing to the people that they uh the saxon that they would capture and same actually with the saxons you know just like people were awful back then <laughs> Like, yeah, it's just insane to like see all that and then like see people and they're just like, oh, like fine. They're just like, you know, that's just kind of like how people were. They're just so brutal. I don't know. I mean, people are definitely still like that in the world, but it's easy for me as an American to not see that. Okay, come on. This is a traitor right there. I mean, not a traitor. They've actually been living in this occupied land. So honestly, these guys are our people. So they should actually want to join up with us. So I'm curious if we try and recruit from a village around here, if it actually is easier or not. Yeah, the sorry villagers should instantly join me. Let's see, we could... Yeah, there's no way that we actually take this city. But you know what we can do? Is we can kind of like freak them out a little bit. Um, okay, so the Jawa, they actually just took some prisoners. So what I can do is I can just besiege this just for a little bit. And then they'll all like be like, oh no, we gotta go save this city. And then like... We're not actually going to take that city, but now people are going to have kind of turned around a little bit and tried to counter us. Uh, so where are the armies? Mysia and w Wadar. Well, that's kind of far back. I mean, Tamna here is actually a decent option. Can I maybe get the boss again? Uh, they won't let me get any recruits here. That is a shame. You'd think that I, w I would have been able to get some. If I can do the same thing that I just did to the other guy, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah, can we... No, it's going to be kind of tricky with the landscape here. But I do think it is worth it to try. To try and just kind of corner her. Maybe, no, yeah, it's gonna be annoying. We'll get her in this little island here, this little islet. There's actually a number of people following us. Not enough though. Oh gosh, seriously? She got away again. Not here though, no. Regia, not here. Not here. We're getting close. Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That That's ridiculous. There's no way that, that was not us, like... Okay, so this definitely should be it. <laughs> there we go. Come on. You know, the first stage of the war is always the open open field battles, right? And the, I, I think as soon as you start um, kind of draining their recruit pool, so to speak, like the villages, as soon as they stop having recruits for them to get, then they'll the parties will be smaller, and then you just kind of snowball from there, right? But I think the challenge is getting to the point where um, you can reliably beat the armies. And I think that, you know... As long as we pick the battles smartly, we can do that fairly reliably. As we've seen here. Now, these guys do have some pretty big armies. Like, there was that one dude just a, a little bit ago that we were looking at. Oh, that horse is down. <laughs> Didn't last long. Come on, this dude. Yeah. And now that dude. Sweet. 
And oh man, 80 damage. <laughs> okay, so we killed the three three of those four horsemen there. And these guys are already running away. And they really should be. They really, really should be. With the odds the way that they are, they should have honestly just surrendered. If you're outnumbered 100 to 300, you, you don't fight, man. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a coward. But like, honestly, you don't fight a battle that you're gonna lose. You gotta fight. Like, I, like in The Last Kingdom, I've been watching that and they're talking about that. It's like, you don't go off and charge into battles that you're gonna lose. You, you wait for the ones that you actually stand a chance of winning. And hey, if you're gonna lose, then you're gonna lose. Yeah, I think I might just wanna get the charm experience. I did see there was something about in the beta patches about them changing uh, the mechanics behind um, prisoners and them escaping. I don't know exactly how that works though. But I, or when that gets rolled out, because I don't think I'm on the beta beta branches. I'm gonna let other people break their games first and then, you know, I'll, I'll get the, not the most cutting edge stuff, but I think it's worth it to make sure it's a little bit more stable for y'all. Um, so the Kuze and us are at peace. Okay, so that's good. That allows us to focus our war effort on these people. So I suspect that we have armies up here that are going to come down to Damascus. Um, now the question is, do I fight with them or do I disrupt? I think we want to disrupt as much as possible. Can I? Yeah. I think um, as much as it would be good to attack and take out this party, I think it's better for us if we actually try and take maybe this castle. And this castle we could maybe... Nah, I don't think that that's... We're, too, we're not... We don't have enough allies around, is the thing. It's like we have the numbers, but there's going to be... A ton of them around here. Uh, Phaikaon has been besieged. Really? So they're trying to besiege up there. Uh, I am going to be hanging out down here then. Because if that's where most of their armies are, I think being down here is A, it's a better place for us because it's closer to our home. And B, that means that we can pull that army that's up there all the way back down here, I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe attacking that castle might be the best way to get them to relieve some of the pressure that they're putting up further north. Um, no, we're not going to go there. I'm going to go... We're going to go all the way down and hope that our lords that are up there can handle things. How's this? Uh, I mean, to be fair, I think that that's got a good amount of defenders. I think what we want to do is um, freak him out a little bit and maybe besiege Razia. Yeah, these guys won't let give me any recruits. I'm gonna, yeah, try and siege down Razia. I think that I'm, I will do it. It's not that I uh, expect us to be successful at it. Uh, maybe we should go for that castle. I mean, I think I'm gonna like just kind of psych them out a little bit and like say that I'm besieging this. Um, why is it? Oh, they're selling out. Oh, what? Oh, no. Um, and it says that I have an advantage here. That is very strange. I think that I'm going to try and get away. I'm going to, you know, we're, we're going to, just because it's saying that I have an advantage and I'm curious, um, 
let's go ahead and and see how this goes. I'm pretty sure in reality, um, I wouldn't want to actually do this. I would just go away. Um, but if they're sallying out to to def uh, attack us, then sure. Come on, come get it. Um, let's see. Where would be a good spot for us to engage here? Let's get. Follow me. Let's get onto this hill. And I think that they're coming towards me because they're sallying, right? They're sallying out. I think that we can say, yo, let's like hold this hill. Forward. Um, so let's say infantry, infantry like here. And then arrows will go like there. Cavalry. On my horse archer. Follow me. I got my cavalry and my horse archers on me. They've got actually quite a big army there. Let's harass and turn a, a few of them around. There's actually a lot of them right there. Let's, yeah, come face, face me and come over here. Yep. I'm just gonna get my cav and just kind of circle them around a little bit. Yep, cav, keep on coming. Keep on coming over here. That's good, that's good. They are trying to arch us, but I think that we actually are doing kind of nice work. Everyone, take over command. Okay, good. I think that we actually might have this. They, they brought their archers way up there. And expose them. That's why I'm I'm running down towards them. Just kind of narrating a little bit. Uh who? Oh 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 oh! These crossbowmen are concerning me a little bit. Oh oh, that was that was close. I think okay, maybe we shouldn't have came down towards them. That might have been a bad move. We are losing a lot of people here. Though we do have a significant amount of cavalry still around. So that does give me some hope. Yeah, I don't think that this was... Like I said, it was not a good idea. I kind of knew that going into it. Yeah, we kind of knew that this was not going to work out. Okay, well, I was just curious to see if we could even do it. But like I suspected, we, we were not able to actually <laughs> defeat an army that big. Yeah, sure, we'll actually retreat. Um, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I was going to, I, like I said, I was going to retreat anyways. Um, kind of dumb. It even kind of put me in that situation where it, like, it locked me in. Like, what do you mean I have to think I have to, like, lose 60 people? Because I clicked one button. That's, that's, uh, that makes me mad. Yeah, all those people are going to be mad at me, too. But I think it's the lesser of, of the evils kind of situation. Man, if that makes it so I can't take this castle, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, you have no idea. 4.6? Wait, how many prisoners do I have? 133 prisoners? Why do I have so many prisoners? This is insane. Okay, let's go back to the hub yard and unload, like, hundreds of prisoners, apparently. I have actually been in enemy territory for like a long time. Actually, now that I think about it, it is fair. God, I can't believe we just lost 60 people like that. Oh, look, there's uh, a big stack right there. Rosia, why don't you just come with me? Um, all the troops have been recruited. 
and pry all the prisoners uh, sold that we can sell here. And we do have 260. And I mean, I feel like we're right here, so we'll go see about recruits. Nah, it looks like all the lords have kind of rolled through here recently. Okay, let's go ahead and see about sieging this castle down. You're going to Mahol. Mahol. I don't even know. <laughs> I know I should probably try and talk to you, but you're too fast. Okay. Okay, fine with me. We'll see about maybe, maybe reclaiming part of the Asari kingdom from these guys. Uh, 138. That's, I mean, that is actually doable. Um, do I want to try sieging it down is the question. I and mean, we're pretty far away from the enemy. Why don't we do... We'll do some fire angars. And we'll use that to keep their, their siege things kind of sub subdued. They've only actually got to have spot for one of them. So I might just build a fire angar and then get something built up. Actually, it looks like, no, they do have spots for multiple of them. Yeah, we're gonna actually, no, we're gonna have to do the, you know, the whole deal. Okay, this dude wants to, wants to watch. Go ahead, you can watch. We'll probably just be sieging this down for like the rest of the episode, just a heads up. And if I need to, we'll fall back. But I honestly think the northern or the empire is probably all doing their fight up in the north. I don't think a lot of them are coming down here realistically. Um, okay, let's get now. We will we will get multiple onguards, seeing how we're gonna have to defeat multiple of these things. Actually, I might. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll do the onguards. I was considering doing the trebuchets, but we don't really need to like take down the walls. I'm really just building these things up to take down the uh, ballistas. I actually don't know how many of them you really need to take down all of the ballistas. They should actually start starving eventually, right? And I won't. I've got tons of food. Let's get a couple more Ongars just kind of lined up. Because they do have four, I am just concerned. Um, yeah, because these things, they, they take a lot less build points, but... Yeah. I think two of them should be enough to take out four. Three will definitely be enough. Once we got three, we'll... We'll see. We'll go from there. We'll see if um, building a fourth one seems necessary or not. I don't think it will be. I'm also trying to keep an eye on here. Onari has been besieged. Yeah, I had a feeling they were gonna... Didn't they do that earlier, actually? Uh, let's get the three of them going. Yeah, that's gonna be... Kind of cutting it a little bit close. Oh, look, there we go. Perfect, so... We've got those things suppressed now. Kind of. I think then we'll start on a ram, maybe. Now that we've got the Ongars working and that stuff being distract destroyed. I mean, it is kind of... I don't know if it's worth, worth it or not. We'll, we'll siege it down just a little bit more. And they're going to start hitting that ballista pretty soon, right? There we go. A few more down. And then... Oh, 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 hold on. What's going on here? Our cohesion. I just lost that dude. That's a shame. Because they were going to make the siege a whole lot easier if they were in my party. I and mean, we can actually take them without them in my party. So maybe I should just kind of let them them do their thing. No, that's that's not. If they're, no, they're. 
less than 40% there. Uh, we'll, we'll let the AI do their thing. We'll let them decide what they think is an appropriate uh, task for them. We'll get our RAM made, and then we'll get um, working on that pretty soon. Yeah, as soon as the RAM's up and going, I think that we're good. And we could actually, you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna let the wall get destroyed. We're pretty close actually to having it destroyed. I just kind of want to see what it looks like when they're actually destroyed. Because it's, uh, I know it's like a no nowhere castle, but um, it's kind of cool to see what the terrain looks like when there's a hole in the wall. We have the time, honestly. Okay, so the wall is broken. Um, yeah, let's let's throw this in this episode. We're gonna we're gonna lead an assault, and it's only gonna be it's gonna be pretty quick, I suspect. That's what I'm trying to do at the end of this, like, even though we're already a half an hour in. Um, so, oh, also, I didn't show you this, but in the sieges, you can do a little bird's eye view before it starts. So you can kind of see there's that hole in that wall. We do have um, our ram here as well, but I suspect that we're just going to run straight in there. Like, straight in that hole in the wall. Yeah, if that, if I was, yeah, that is what they're totally going to do. It looks like some of them are going to get the ram to supply a little bit of pressure. But really, this is going to be the better, better point to take. Yeah, most of the army, it looks like, is by the ram, I think, but they might be coming over here. It looks like it's an even split between the two, actually. Let's get off the horse, because realistically... Oh, look at that. Oh, those are the fire ones. Right, I, put, I made the fire ones. I know people say there weren't fire arrows, but they're the fire one of those things, for sure. We've got fire ones and regular ones. I like the fire ones, though. That looks so cool. Are you guys just, like, gonna stand here? Oh, you're just archers. That's why you're not charging in. Oh, look at that. They're, like, kind of sallied out to meet us. Do I have infantry? Are you guys gonna come in, or...? Are we waiting for the ram? I don't understand. We should be charging, shouldn't we? I mean, why wait for the ram to get at the gate there? It makes no sense. You've got these guys right here. They can be killed. Infantry! Archers! Cavalry! Move archer! Archers! Yeah, I don't know. It seems very strange to me that they're trying to take that wall there. I want to be able to be like, hey, all of you guys right here, come with me. But I don't think there's a way to do that. If I go close to these guys, does that maybe trigger something? Oh, it will triggers them shooting at me. Yeah, I'm just not really liking the AI and how it's performing right now. And we are not losing a ton of people, so I'm not charging in just as of right now. But it seems definitely like we should be. Oh, come on. There we go. Over the shield. I'm gonna hit these guys while I can't- Oh! He actually got me there. There. Nice, okay. Yeah, it seems definitely very strange to me that they they don't charge in sooner. I'm just kind of curious as to where the ram is right now. If it's at the gate, I might just kind of wait it out. Yeah, they're actually at the gate, so we'll just wait it out. And then I think once they're in there, people start kind of charging. Yeah, actually, no, they're charging in now. Cool. 
That's perfect, actually. As soon as I turn around, these guys wake up and try and take it. Nice. Okay, cool. Get in there. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Man, look at this little, like... This little... I really like how they've got the archers positioned up here. It's like a nice little kill box. It's a really nice little kill box, actually. I mean, considering that they were, you know, trying to hold this point, I can see why that was the point that was chosen. Oh wow, that that attack didn't even phase me. Oh man, this is super cool. I like I like this. I like this a lot. I like taking castles with the hole in the wall. Very cool. There's also that right there. What? Okay. Now I'm really intrigued. I, I remember reading about that, like the cities that have like old like ruins that they've built on top of. And that to me looks like that was the case, like there was like some old ruin there. Okay, uh, they're trying to get inside that building. You guys look like you're trying to fight in the courtyard. We're gonna go into the courtyard. Mostly because there's some easy shots there. And I, as you know, I like my archery. Oh, come on. I can, I can hit a target. Okay, yeah. It's, it's game at this point. That was awesome, though. We just totally crushed that. And, oh, man, I love the sorry castles. They're so cool. Oh, man, that is, like, legit amazing. Like, such good art design. I'm just going back to that hole because now I need to know, like, what's down there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a total weird thing, but I need to... Because I thought that was how I got into another castle and another siege, was something that was kind of like this. What is down here? Where does this go? Oh man. What the heck? Please tell me that this goes outside. Am I gonna drown? Ah! <laughs> okay. I guess uh, they did not build that into the game. In, with the intention of uh, you being able to go down there. Um, yeah, actually, I will take those recruits. We need to boost up our numbers again. Man, well, at least we've taken back a small piece. A small piece of what the Empire took from us all that time ago, long ago. Um, over our prisoner limit, I don't care, really. Because we're about to put them in the castle, is the thing. Like, sure, we're over the prisoner limit, but whatever. Because we can then just uh, go in here and do this. Like, yeah, get rid of these guys. You know. Uh, we still need to get rid of three more. Okay, well, let's get rid of, like, that. Yeah. Looks good to me. Okay, well, I'm going to end here. Thank you for uh, joining me. Excuse me. This has been Orange One.